Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I, I need to go seek professional help. Oh, oh, she banned me? Because I was right, I was fucking PMing Benji some fucking information! Some motherfucking information! I struggle with issues. I'm not okay, but bro, you're not understanding. You don't get it. I can't get a job. I'm just trying to walk away from this. Bro, I'm not trying to live in my mom's house till I'm fucking like, I, I'm not trying to live in my mom's house, dude. I'm just trying to go back to work. I'm literally just trying to go back to work. I'm literally, I really just, I really just want to go back to working in the kitchen. So I really like to do. I made a lot of money doing that, and I enjoyed it. I just want to go back to doing that. Like, all, all these fucking club channels are fucking my, my, fucking my life up. They're literally fucking ruining my life. I know I fucked up. I know I did fucked up shit in the past, but, like, bruh, it doesn't matter, because once I delete my channel, it doesn't matter. But those, cha those clips channels are still going to be there. I'm so stressed, I feel like it gives me stomach ulcers. I'm deleting this channel once I get a job. I'm sorry. That's just what I gotta do, but it's it's over with. It's over with. I'm gonna go find something else to do. Two days later. I'm not even sure where to start this video. I guess I'll start with where it began for me. For months on stream, I refused to do a video of Scuff Justin Carey, otherwise known as SJC, despite a ton of requests. Overall, the subject matter was far too dark. It leaves you with a certain discomfort and disgust. The community persisted and eventually I gave in and began grabbing clips from YouTube. Justin and his Discord got wind of my efforts and while I was simultaneously downloading clips of him, they were in his Discord conspiring to dox me, stalk me, threaten me and my family with violence and go fully weaponized. I'm gonna fuck your life. You wanna fucking, you wanna fucking talk about me, bitch? You wanna fucking talk about me? I'm gonna <laughs> fuck your life. You're laughing? You're laughing? Bro, I'm gonna have you fuck, I'm gonna have people swat you every day. Have your door kicked in. No, you know what, bro? At this point, at this point, pumps, I'm gonna have battle cameras do crazy shit. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the, oh, this bitch is gonna, I'm gonna make sure her fucking sister gets taken away for drugs in the house because her mom is doing drugs. I'm gonna rat your mom out. I'm gonna call CPS to your house. You will never see your sister again. I'm gonna fuck your life. I'm going to let them know your mom is doing drugs around your sister. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to fucking call. I'm going to keep calling. I don't care, bro. I'm going to ruin her life. This girl has no idea who she's fucking with, bro. She has no fucking idea. I'm going to make sure her sister goes away to foster care. She will never see her sister again. Lauren, no one's going to watch you because you're a fucking loser. Since then, I've seen an outpouring of support from the former CX community regarding all of the various crimes SJC has committed and an enormous amount of support on my live streams for finally covering this. It's been interesting to say the least, and SJC's history of manipulation using mental illness, threats of violence, and self-harm, as well as disturbing the peace, goes back well over a decade. And the list of grievances is incredibly long. Your self embarrassed in front of a thousand people so i don't know there's a thousand people watching you embarrass yourself i mean i'm not the one who is outside on the clock not doing their job i'm up i'm allowed to record in public i mean oh that's a chick that went to paul's house that's that's an escort from paul's house i'm allowed to record in public she, she can't be a social justice warrior. It's not illegal. Whoa, that. That's not okay, chat. That is not okay. That is not okay. You can't donate that. That's not. I have 2,000 people watching me live. I'm just out here doing my job, homie. Good. All right? Someone called me and asked about my place. I came here through Secret Shopper, homie. Good. 
I'm here with Secret Shopper. Okay, you can't fucking film us in here, dude. Uh, I'm, a lot, I'm allowed to do it through Secret Shopper. No, you can't. I don't give a fuck what loophole you're trying to say. Secret Shopper? Dude, stop filming my employees. It's not cool. I'm going to film inside the business through, through Secret Shopper. I don't give a fuck what you're saying, dude. You've got about five minutes to leave, otherwise we're calling the cops. Call the police, son. It's called a First Amendment right, homie. Shut the fuck up. All right. Then I, uh, you just gonna have to deal with business. Call the police. Yes, they're recording me. Be a social justice warrior because you do escort service, girl. It's not my fault you do escort service on the side, and you got exposed by my chat. Since his initial attack on me, SJC has gone nuclear and began attacking two of his previous exes, along with anyone else that seemingly got in his way. I doxed her during the prison stream. And then people start fucking with her from there. I am guilty. I am responsible. Yes, I feel like it is 100% my responsibility. The live streamer known as Scuffed Justin Carey or SJC has been using the same toolbox of manipulation tactics for over a decade, broadcasting and publishing all of it and wearing the social crimes he's committed like a badge of honor. Justin uses this adolescent-like toolbox of manipulation tactics when he's presented with any social opposition, cycling through the same cyberbullying tactics that he's refined over the years with each new person he stalks. Okay, we'll take our job somewhere else. Yeah, One star for this place. Dog him? I'll show you the front of the store when we eat. Don't worry. One star. You want to threaten to me with 1,300 people watching? That's fine. I'm, ob I'm obnoxious because I have autism. I have Asperger's syndrome. They're discriminating on me, and I'm going to contact the Americans with Disability Act. I think you all should contact them. All right, just leave. Just leave. Just leave? Yeah, just leave. Okay, one, one star for this place. And I'll come back. One star for that guy's name. That guy's name. There it is. There it is, bro. Fuck this place. I'm going to try my best to objectively unpack the decade-long cyberbullying and internet terrorism library that is scuffed Justin Carey's live streams. Buckle in because this is literally the worst live streamer who ever lived. <laughs> using mental illness as a scapegoat and being self-aware, using threats of self-harm and suicide as a scapegoat while being self-aware, using threats of violence to intimidate and coerce others, including myself while making this video, actively encourages doxing and swatting and brigading, a real piece of work, who is somehow still getting donations and living his best life overstaying his welcome on a friend's couch in Hollywood, California, while in temporary exile of all his previous residences. What is your problem now? Goodbye. What, what is your problem now? Hasta la vista, baby. What, why are you not speaking English? You're not going to be here when I come back. I'm going to get sickered. Oh, okay. Eventually, he will go back home. That is almost a given. You look like some goddamn werewolf. You look like a werewolf. Oh, where, where's the pie, Mom? I have no idea. Mom, where's the pie? A werewolf? Oh, no, it's, why is that all stuck? And very likely, by the time this video gets released, he will be back home in Florida, sleeping on his mother's couch. Bow. Justin, lower your voice. Stop, stop talking to your mom that way, please. Don't tell me how to talk to my mom, please. Justin. This is between me and my mother. You're not my family. Respectfully. 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 You're just my uncle's girlfriend. I was. Res I said respectfully. Uncle Michael didn't care. What? Brand blind trying to talk like that. He didn't come here for months. 
because it's disrespectful. I it's disrespectful to tell somebody what to do I as a grown ass 30 year old I man. I can't. You can tell me what to do, but that lady has no business. Tell me what to do in my grandfather's house. My dead grandfather's house? You tell me what to do in my dead grandfather's house? I am mourning. I am in mourning, Linda. My grandfather died in this house. And he told me what to do in my dead grandfather's house. My grandfather died in this house. She's telling me what to do in my grandfather's house. How dare her? He died in his house. That's not nice. Works every time. This will probably be the darkest video I've ever made without many positive takeaways. And I don't take doing this lightly. We are going to try to open a discussion about the larger themes running throughout this one live streamer's life and do our best to make it a positive about the community coming together to shed light on a very disturbing library of videos. For two and a half years, I'm only human. I only have to use my emotion. I don't know, I have emotional issues, so it's like, I got to a point where I'm crying while I'm making chases for like a little whore. The current IRL scene is a dark place of addiction, homelessness, and an abundance of degeneracy. As a whole, we are in a content drought that might lead to the death of IRL as we know it. The in real life live streaming space has undergone some major changes, and SJC has been around for its entire duration. Oh, I'm gonna press charges. I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges. From as far back as we can go, Scuff Justin Carey has proudly engaged in calculated and sometimes organized cyber attacks on almost everyone in his life. This almost always includes the highly manipulative tactic of using self harm and suicide as social leverage, encouraging his online fan base to attack other individuals he feels crossed him harassing and threatening people in public, then screaming for help at the first sign of opposition. You couldn't beat anybody. You're a pussy. You fat fucking loser. I have autism. I you know. feel big bullying no, someone with autism? Oh, he hit me. Stop. You fucking hit me. You hit me, Stop. asshole. Stop. You fucking hit me. No. no. He fucking hit me. No, turn it in here. No, I'm not going to stop it off. It's on my phone. The underlying themes of this video represent a very real and very dark part of the human condition. Ones that we can all identify with in some way. Viewer discretion is advised if you think you might be sensitive to any of these topics. If you or anyone you know is struggling with their mental health, please call the Worldwide Crisis Line. It will also be listed in the description below. Getting his not so humble beginnings in entertainment on a website known as Battlecan, an internet based live and interactive reality television channel founded by entrepreneur Alki David. Alki David has just been ordered to pay a whopping $58 million in damages to former assistant Mahim Khan, who says he repeatedly fondled her, danced naked in front of her, and who once attempted to give her a lap dance. I'm not this person that they have manipulated the media into believing that I am a good boss. I'm genuinely sorry for these fools. These, these are people who think it's okay to pull one over on the man. I'm the man, right? Because I'm rich, I'm the man. I will never pay a penny to these people. And you know what, they know it. Throughout Battlecam's existence, Justin was featured in a number of streams and skits, including some with Alki David. Justin's early work will be important later on when we start to examine his long-standing manipulative behaviors. Battlecams was a live streaming website and community that was way ahead of its time. Days and weekends. I love the weekends. Weekends! Now we have popular platforms like Twitch and YouTube, 
that gear themselves towards more advertiser-friendly content. Battle Camps, however, showcased edgy IRL content unlike anything before it, more akin to Jerry Springer or Dr. Phil, the real dumpster fire situations. Unfortunately, Battle Camps would not be a commercial success and instead was home to some of the most depraved individuals willing to broadcast themselves. This is where Scuff Justin Carey got his start. After being introduced to Alki David and other Battle Camp streamers, he would feature himself on the red carpet, doing skits and pranks, and overall developing his own style that would lead to his current toxic toolbox of manipulative behavior. I don't know why I'm not in this show. I mean, come on. She's pretty cute. I mean, not Natasha cute, but I mean... It's here, however, in the early Battle Cam days that we can see Justin act quite rationally in the face of some complex social situations. Why is it so funny? Am I bad? I love it. No, I think you're, you're putting a lot of your I think, I, I think I'm horrible. No, no. As long as you put your personality in it, that's all that counts. Still looking for modeling tips. Here we can see a young and bright-eyed aspiring actor getting his humble beginnings. Alki, come on bro, I need a car. I, I mean, this is ridiculous I have to do this to get food that I don't have a car, bro. If only Justin could have built his style off the positives in his old battle cam footage, which there are, rather than focus on the negatives. Technically, I don't have a car. Is this is good enough. I rolled down my windows. I have four tires. I got headlights. I even got a little emblem on the front but it still gives us an idea that Justin is quite capable of handling the social situations he now claims he's too unstable to. I don't know why I'm not in this show. I mean, come on. Hi, Justin from Filmon. Hi. What's your name? Brianne Johnson. Have you done any modeling? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm out here and I'm, I'm trying to get tips for, uh, I want to become a model. What do you think about my outfit? Isn't it cute? Oh, she's pretty cute. I mean, not Natasha cute, but I mean, you know, I, I'd watch it. His true character still showed through. So if you watched enough of the battle cam footage, you get a decent picture of who this man is and what he is likely to become. While many found him funny, they were also quick to note that he takes things way too far and has a complete lack of regard for anyone but himself. He likely thought Battle Cam was a good starting point and that he would have a very long and prosperous career ahead of him in Hollywood, California. Unfortunately, that would not be the case, as his degeneracy was too strong for the hope that Hollywood brings young actors and the toxicity would eventually become his entire brand. It's not okay! It's not okay to fuck with someone's emotions! I can show all the invitation shit and fucking care, bitch, what the fuck me up! I just wanna crawl out of my fucking skin, but I can't! It fucks me up! Every fucking morning I wake up and I expect to see her and my kid, but I don't. Call because this bitch would be a fucking clout chaser over nothing. I don't got no clout. I ain't nobody. I'm just someone who just streams because it's fun. That's it. That's it. That's fucking all it is, dog. That's all this shit is to me. It's fun. It doesn't mean shit to me. It doesn't mean fuck all. It's just fun to me, dog. <laughs> Following battle cams, Justin would hop around his own live streams, living off the former battle cam glory and continuing to commit various cyber crimes. He then would integrate himself into the Ice Poseidon universe in Los Angeles and begin appearing regularly on streams. There were plenty of good moments, Justin would make tens of thousands of dollars around Paul and was a staple of the community. Sure, there are incidents here and there where his true manipulative character would show through, but it's IRL live streaming. 
the sheer volume of hours that these streamers spend live, and the number of situations that they get themselves into leaves very little to the imagination. These streamers are often bearing it all for the viewers, and it typically leads to that person's true colors coming out. The result is the viewers not only get a more in real life experience in seeing real human emotions played out in real time, but they get a rare glimpse into the streamer's psyche through their daily actions. Some IRL streamers do well because they can handle the fast-paced social situations with ease, charming their way around any content that comes their way. Others, as you'll soon see, don't have the necessary social skills to navigate complex and potentially hostile social situations, but still actively seek them out for the attention that it brings. Then the CX network would fall apart and the downfall of Ice Poseidon would begin. Justin had no more Ice fans to leech from and generate donations. Despite many of his previous donation goals being scammed, but we'll get into that in part two. SJC would take his small fan base on adventures throughout Florida and LA, continuing his predatory practices of cyber stalking and cyber harassing anyone he can for content. Girlfriends, family members, you, your friends, myself, my friends. The more people he has on his radar to harass, the more content he feels he has. And his fans eat it all up, including when it turns violent for him. Sometimes the police get called, and sometimes he's arrested for disturbing the peace. Nothing really to see here, just an out of control dumpster fire with old, worn out tires, slowly burning and stinking up anything within a few mile radius. When will it end, Justin? When will you do some self-regulation and address the hot mess of emotions that you feel? You need to learn to cope with these emotions in a more productive way and not lash out and encourage your fans to try and ruin people's lives. This isn't about shaming you or trying to profit off of your mental illness. This video is a long overdue tally of all of the social atrocities you've committed in the name of content and in the name of your poor emotional development. As most people are already aware, I've reached out to Justin multiple times and offered him the opportunity to speak on any of these issues. He doesn't want that. Instead, he'd prefer to throw e-tantrums and continue the same patterns of manipulation that he knows so well. What? I'll do it. Ray! 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 He touched my penis! He really touched my penis! I need a adult! I need to have autism! He touched my penis! Ray! 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 He raped me! You want to stab? You raped me. He has a knife. Help! He has a knife. Help! Help! He has a knife. Help! He has a knife. Help! Ray! Ray! Say I grab my penis. Say I grab my penis. Say I grab my penis. It's taken a lot longer to develop this story because, well, to be frank, it's a large body of clips and instances that should be talked about. Plus, once I announced that this video was happening, there was an outpouring of community support by just about everyone. His own family members, ex-girlfriends and roommates, and a whole lot of viewers who want to see this video happen. I personally have been overwhelmed with the emails, DMs, and people who have strong opinions on this matter, and it's taken some time to sift through it. However, with all of the support and discussion going on comes valuable tidbits of information. I hope to be able to prove beyond any doubt that Justin does not have autism, as proven by the juxtaposition in his ability to navigate social situations from years ago when compared to more recently. I was assaulted. Right. I, I have autism. I don't think like you do. Okay. They grabbed my phone and they smashed it. They touched my penis. That one guy touched my penis. I have autism. And you can't just grab some guy like that just because you think he's available. Hey, I'm not gay. I, I don't, I'm not gay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gay. He grabbed me. He grabbed me in an inappropriate way. I'm just trying. I understand your point. We get your point. Okay, I understand. And we're not trying to dispute your point. I was assaulted. We just want you to fall down. I'm upset. My rights are being a friendship line. I don't want to have to do this. Is that retarded? Here, look. Look. The first thing you're just 
before I saw that guy attack you. All right. Like I this, said, is, this is a fan that just texted me. I, I they not, saw me. I, am not I have I have 2,200 witnesses watching live right now. You're telling me that you can't do anything. I'm not telling you that. that. We're just trying to have a we conversation. I was assaulted, and he grabbed me in an in, 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 in in inappropriate way because he thought that I... I can, he can take advantage of me. Not tonight. Oh, it's, you me too? it's live on YouTube. You, you can call me too? Bro, these are my friends. You want to get knocked down too? These are my best friends. You want to get knocked down too? I got autism. I have retardation. What you mean, homie? I got Asperger's syndrome. He will say just about anything he can to provoke fear and thus submission, only to later claim that it's due to his severe anxiety and depression, and that he's oh so sorry. Relentlessly using heavy duty themes of suicide and self harm along with social terrorism as he sees fit is his style. And through the clips and the database of public videos, we will be able to nail him on many of the excuses that he's developed over the years. I have autism. I don't, I, I have, I, 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 I don't think you have autism. You don't have autism. <laughs> I will let you call it. You're gonna kill someone. I got autism. I got autism. You gonna kill someone, homie? I got the autism. You gonna kill someone, homie? It works every time. Okay. Uh, this is from the protection. This is from Are you arresting me? For what? What for? You're arresting me. Come. Scuffed Justin Carey is not autistic, but will use the sympathy that comes with autism to escape any blame of wrongdoing. Come on, you're getting hit for no reason. Just get out. Fuck out the car. What? Bro, why are you sitting? Yeah. There's a car behind us. Why are you just staying there? Uh. You're so stupid. You're being really stupid, SJC, right now. It's too much, you know? Stop! Too much. Stop what? Give me my fucking phone! Stop what? Give me my phone! You ain't getting shit. Help! My help! Help! You my can get out of the car. Why are you showing help? You can literally leave. He's not holding you in the car. My phone. My phone. <laughs> you piece of shit! Stop! Help! 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 I need help! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Please. Scuffed Justin Carey will threaten you with violence, play on your heartstrings with threats of self-harm to himself, and overall play on any emotion he thinks he can manipulate. Kill me! Fucking kill me! Do it! Kill me! Fucking kill me! It all has to stop, and hopefully with part two and eventually part three, we can showcase how unjust his actions truly are. And with a little bit of luck, perhaps this series can inspire some positive change in the life of SJC, or at the very least in the lives of those he's wronged. Thank you all sincerely for watching and I'll see you in the next one.